Hey guys, it's me, Rosie here, and I have for you this makeup look. Um, I actually did this look before. I posted it on my Instagram. If you guys aren't following me, my links are down below, so be sure to follow me and say hi. Um, it's uh, using this gorgeous shadow from ColourPop Cosmetics. It's called Crinkle, and it's like, oh, it's amazing. It's like it screams holidays for me. But um, I know it's not, um, Jesus Christ, like the sun, it's like, I guess it's about to set or something, and that's why, I'm sorry for the lighting. I thought that it was going to work out with the whole daylight, man, no, it's, it's, yeah. Anyway, um, if you guys want to pair this with something more subtle, you can. Um, this is just exactly what I wore in that picture, so that's why I did it. But, um... Yeah, if uh, you guys want to see the rest of the stuff I got from ColourPop, I'll link the video down as well. And without further ado, if you guys want to see how to get this lifted, just keep watching. Alright guys, so let's start off with the Maybelline 24 Hour Color Tattoo in the color Icy Mint. And we're going to apply this all over the lids and the lower lash line as well. Now. If you guys are wondering what I'm using for my eyebrows, I use my Try and True, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate. Now we're going in with the colors Camel and Brown from the Lorac Mega Pro Palette. And we're going to apply those with a fluffy brush to the crease. This is going to serve as our transition shade. And using a windshield wiper motion, it's going to help blend everything together. Now we're going in with the colors brown and stone just to further deepen the crease. Now let's move on to the star of the show, Crinkle Super Shock Shadow. Look at that color, it's like amazing. And this is from ColourPop Cosmetics and I'm using my finger now to apply it in a patting motion to the eyelid. I'm also applying it to the lower lash line. And again, going back with the fluffy brush to further blend these colors together. And with a detail brush, I'm gonna finish adding color to the lower lash line. Now with my Makeup Forever HD foundation in N173, I'm gonna dab this all over my face, as you see here. And using my Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush, I'm going to work the foundation into my skin. This is the first time I use this brush and it's a little dense. It's actually not very dense for my liking, but I love the way that it blends everything together. If you guys wanna see a review on it, please let me know in the comments down below, and I'll gladly do one for you. Let's move on to the HD Pro Concealer from LA Girl in the color Pure Beige. And I'm going to apply this to the highest points of my face to both conceal and highlight. Now 
Now using the other side of that kabuki brush, I am going to blend the concealer with the rest of my face. It's so amazing how it blends everything like airbrushed. It's 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 amazing. Now with the Red Cherries 600, I am going to apply these bad boys on. I love how natural they look, but they still give it that oomph that the look needs. Now bend your lashes in order for it to adhere better to your the contours of your eyes. And using your favorite adhesive, I'm using Duo Clear. Um, I'm gonna apply this to the rim and wait like 30 seconds. Now I'm applying it with my fingers because I found it that it's the easiest that way. But you can also use tweezers or eyelash tweezers, whatever they're called. And yeah, I'm still struggling to get them on, but I'm getting used to it. Now with an eyelash curler, I'm gonna curl my lashes so that my lashes can blend better with the fake ones. And that way the fake ones look <laughs> more natural. Now using my favorite mascara, uh, Maybelline Sensational Mascara. I'm gonna coat my top and bottom lashes. And with the color Opal, I am going to highlight and my brow, I'm sorry. I'm gonna highlight my brow bone and inner corner. There we go. Okay, okay. Now with my the Balm Bahama Mama bronzer, I am going to contour my face. And with my City Color B Matte Blush in Guava, I am going to apply this to my cheeks. As my highlighter, I'm using the Artist Couture by Angel Marino Diamond Glow Powder in Mermaid Fantasy. And yes, it does have a blue-green iridescence to it, which I really feel like it ties the look in together. And it makes me feel like a mermaid. <laughs> I love the glow it gives off. It's amazing. Okay, now with ColourPop's Lippy Sticks in Leather, I'm going to apply that to the lips. And if you guys can't bear having all this boldness going on, opt for like a nude gloss or clear gloss. Doesn't matter. It will still make this look, look amazing. I just love how purple and blue look together. Don't you? <laughs> okay. Now this is the final look. If you guys like it, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed for more future tutorials. And make sure to check out my other videos that I'll definitely link down below. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.